Person, let's stop and ask her. Hi, um, how is this road so smooth? How did they do it? You mean this paved asphalt road? Would you like to learn how it's built? Yeah, let me show you. Hello, Chef Puneet. Hi! Welcome to the Asphalt Kitchen. Here we prepare all sorts of delicious asphalt recipes. What are you preparing today? Asphalt pills! Asphalt concrete is made up of aggregates and asphalt binder. Aggregates, we make unique proportions of these aggregates and mix with asphalt binder to make our unique mix. Let's see how we do it. Here, let's take some aggregates and then put them in a container. Here we add our beautiful asphalt. We mix them together to get What do you think is the most fascinating ingredient of asphalt concrete? Asphalt binder! And choosing the right one is a challenging science. Let's see how we can select our bind. Asphalt stays in roads for 15 to 20 years. We need to predict its behavior in the future. We simulate the aging process that happens on a real road by applying heat and pressure to the asphalt binder. We apply shear loading at different temperatures to check that the asphalt will not deform too much or crack too early. Here we check if the binder can relax under sustained load to simulate shrinkage during the winter. After figuring out the right ingredients and mixing them, what happens next? We come back! Thanks Chef Puneet. You see, this machine is a gyratory compactor. After transferring hot asphalt mix into the cylinder, it compacts the material at a rot rotating angle to simulate the rollers we see out there when we build roads. Not only do we need to understand how the ingredients play a role, but we also need to relate our laboratory experiments to what happens in the real world. Oh, but how do you make sure that it works and that we have a good mixture? Welcome to our asphalt concrete quality inspection area. We will be running two of our performance tests, the Amber Wheel Jacking Test and the iFit, the Illinois Flexibility Index Test. Ah, quality control. You see, we need to get some measurements to help us improve our asphalt concrete mix. In doing so, the mixture needs to pass certain performance criteria before we build the roads. As the Hamburg wheel moves back and forth, we can observe and understand how our asphalt concrete mixture can withstand the wheel load, similar to the cars as they drive over the road. Created at the Illinois Center for Transportation, the iFit is used to ensure that the asphalt concrete does not crack too fast. Okay. Asphalt can perform on those tests, but how do we know it will perform on real roads with real traffic, rain, and heat from the sun? The behavior of an asphalt pavement is a bit complex. Puneet and Gafar helped us understand the mixture using specimens. But if you remember, our pavements are made up of layers and function as a system. One way to understand the behavior of a pavement structure is through modeling or computer simulations. We use the lab testing results to help us predict the behavior of asphalt concrete roads under different traffic and environmental conditions, just like in the real world. Let's take a look. As you can see, the interaction of the truck and pavement is a very complicated system. The truck applies a dynamic loading on the pavement, and the pavement affects the ride quality and the driving safety of the truck. We have to understand how the two work together so we can we can drive smoothly and safely on road. We also build computer models of the truck tires so we can know their behavior without doing actual experiments. These computer simulations are helpful tools for pavement engineers to design pavements 
especially they have different places like Florida versus Illinois. They have totally different needs and demands. But how do we make sure that the computer models give good results? The analysis is not only done using lab testing and computer simulations. We also have to emulate what happens in real life using accelerated pavement testing. This is the Accelerated Transportation Loading System or ATLAS. We build test sections or sample pavement structures and then use ATLAS to apply actual truck tire loads for thousands of repetitions. And how about existing pavements? There are several ways our pavement engineers can monitor our pavements. One of them is the Ground Penetrating Radar or GPR, which does not require digging out the road. This GPR sends waves into our pavement structure to help us actually see what's going on underneath the surface. Remember different layers in our pavement structure model? Well, GPR help us detect each layer due to changing in their properties. This test provides us a lot of useful information about pavement structure, such as layer thickness and density. But why does a pavement fail in the first place? In addition to traffic loading, asphalt concrete deteriorates when challenged by the cycles of environmental conditions. Just like how we experience all the four seasons of winter, spring, summer, and fall here in Illinois. With time, asphalt ages and it becomes more prone to cracking. Aging in asphalt is caused by oxygen, high temperatures, and high energy ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun. These effects are compounded in the presence of moisture. Whenever we start observing cracks and damage in our roads, or when the ride is too bumpy, we have different ways to maintain or rehabilitate them to help prolong the life of our pavement. One sample technique is cold in-place recycling. This is a cold in-place recycling train. As you can see, the old asphalt is milled or removed and broken into smaller pieces. The pieces are then blended with a rejuvenator and put back and compacted to create a new and smooth road. This is one of the many examples of how we can recycle asphalt concrete pavements. We also need to make sure that our roadways are sustainable. We consider all life stages of the pavement from start to finish and make sure that we are responsible with our use of money and resources. We can even harness the power of autonomous and connected vehicles to design better pavements for the future. Wow! I didn't know that's how we made asphalt concrete roads. Wow! Asphalt is so cool! How can we learn more about pavements? Well, you can always knock at our door at the Illinois Center for Transportation.